The Antiquities Authority has made a significant discovery that not only reveals engineering technologies from the Second Temple time, but also allows us a glimpse into the ancient city of Jerusalem. And Atavi's Devo Klein has all the details. A remarkable 300-meter stretch of ancient aqueduct has been discovered by the Israel Antiquities Authority in Jerusalem. According to archaeologists, this finding reveals sophisticated engineering dating back to the Second Temple era. The aqueduct was used to funnel water to the upper-class society of Jerusalem, which was known as the Upper City, where the elite resided in royal palaces. The aqueduct was built due to the rising demand for water in Jerusalem, the Hasmoneans, and later the Roman King Herod, built two aqueducts. The ancient aqueduct would split its course, with some of the water funneling to the upper class through the upper level aqueduct, and some flowing through the lower level aqueduct, to reach the Temple Mount. The intricate path of the aqueduct was built in the shape of a snake, with U-shaped walls that sat at consistent heights, reaching almost three meters. The IAA highly praised the aqueduct as it was strategically able to gather water from the Bethlehem Springs, located 10 kilometers south of Jerusalem, and distribute it to some of the highest points in the city. Additionally, 25 coins were discovered in the plaster of the aqueducts, one of which was minted around 67 BCE, commemorating the Great Jewish Revolt against the Romans. This, according to the excavators, is not a mistake. As much like today's tradition, Coins were tossed into bodies of water for good luck. The Israel Antiquities Authority has assured the public that the remarkable site will be restored and preserved.